Hi there, this is Ed Herzog with Online Growth Tools, and what I want to show you today is a tool called Stencil. Now, Stencil is currently available on AppSumo for $49 for a lifetime license. Now, you can only buy one code of Stencil because that's all you need. The one code gives you access to everything that Stencil has to offer. So, let's go ahead and take a look and see what Stencil can do. Now, I already got a template loaded up here. I just kind of picked one at random. Um, a lot of people, when they're designing, they like to start with the template. So, you can see here, um, you know, as any of these, whether it's Canva or Pixel or any of these graphic design tools, they've, you know, they've got their own templates they've built. Now, you know, they've got their featured, they've got different categories here, right? So they've got featured, they've got my templates, which, you know, if you create something that you want to kind of later tweak, you can save it as a template and then you don't have to recreate it from the beginning, right? Um, you can favorite one of these templates here so that, you know, maybe you don't want to use it right now, but you see one you like that you might want to use in the future. You can favorite it, so that's nice. You can create collections. So for me, I basically do images for my blog posts and then my YouTube thumbnail, uh, thumbnail art. And so, you know, I might have two different collections here, one for each of those. And then here they've got different categories. Um, you know, some by theme, business celebration, other by the social media channel, Facebook, Facebook cover, uh, Instagram, et cetera. They don't, one thing that I find odd is they don't have anything here specifically for YouTube. That doesn't mean you can't do YouTube with us, just that, you know, there's nothing down here that is specific to YouTube, which is a bit strange. Um, but one thing that is nice, I really like this feature, um, is you can uh, click here. Right now it's a blog post image, 750 by 750, and here you can very easily change it. So. If I did, they've got posts, ads, headers, and then you can input a custom size. Um, but let's say I did want to make a YouTube thumbnail channel. I just click on that. And, you know, it's not a perfect uh, transition, right? I mean, the Paysia doesn't really come out correctly. But overall, I think it does a pretty good job of, you know, transitioning from one size to another. You know, you'll again, you'll probably need to go in and make some tweaks to this. But I think that's a, you know, it's a pretty nice feature they've got here. Um, you know, just cycle through some, a few more of these, uh, you know, LinkedIn ad, I guess that wasn't very much different than the Facebook one, uh, headers. Now the headers, you know, a lot of times on the header, it doesn't actually show everything. It's very, <laughs> I've run into that frustration. So they do have this here where they show you what's hidden, what shows only on a desktop, what uh, shows only in the, uh, where the, you know, profile photos go. Uh, and you can actually toggle that on and off right there with that button. So, um, so, you know, it's, it's a pretty nice feature. I like that. And, you know, if you want to do a custom one, I don't know. We'll just see how this goes. Oops, you can name your custom size. Uh, just call it my size. And then put it, I don't know, 700 by 500. And add that. And then set it. And, yeah, it will automatically kind of redo the image so that it's now the size that I created, 700 by 500. So I think that's a pretty nice feature right there that you can, you know, just right here, cycle through, you know, you can create something for Instagram and then later very easily change it in an ebook cover or, you know, an ad for Twitter, um, however you want to do it. It does a pretty nice transition. You'll probably still need to do some tweaks to it, but it does overall a pretty good job. So, so those are the templates. There's not, you know, there's not a lot of templates um, compared to some of the others, but I actually, some ways I think that's good. Like I know on Canva, I get overwhelmed. Like I keep scrolling down. I can never reach the end of the end of the templates. And so, um, you know, I keep thinking, oh, there must be something better out there. Um, with Stencil, there's not a lot of templates, but I think in some ways that's good because then you don't get overwhelmed by, you know, just continuing scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Um, so then what can you do with these, right? Okay. Obviously you've got photos, right? They see here, they've got 2.2 million royalty-free photos. And, you know, you can see right here, they've got some pretty nice photos. And again, you can add these, you can, you know, set as a background, add it to canvas, crop, add it to your favorite, or add it to collections. You can create photo collections too. Um, and you can also, right there with that star, add it to your favorite. So uh, let's just say we set that as our background. Again, I'm just gonna play around with this. So this now goes in there, in that space that before showed, uh, I guess that was shrimp or something. So then the photo, again, this is pretty, you know, if you've used these sort of tools before, again, whether it's Canva, Pixteller, uh, Snappa, you know, they're all fairly similar. What I find is I think in some ways the stencil set of features is more limited, but in some ways that's good. Like some of the others, I often feel overwhelmed by too many options. I, I actually, 
I like the simplicity of stencil. So, you know, you do get your filters that you have on some of the other ones. You know, you can make the picture black and white. You've got other filters here. Um, you know, again, not an overwhelming, but a decent number, about 20 of them. Um, again, you can blur it, blur the photo. You can make it more transparent. You can lighten it, darken it. You can add a, a color, color overlay. So, uh, you know, we'll just add a, I guess the red overlay doesn't show up very well. There, that showed up. Um, so, you know, you can add the overlay and, you know, you can make it stronger or weaker. Uh, you can flip it. So you've got a horizontal and a vertical flip, which is nice. And that's very, very uh, nice right there. And, and, you know, you see this is all very fast, right? Um, now, if you don't want it to be your background right here, you can say, make it resizable. And then all of a sudden it's like that. And now you can move it around how you want. Maybe you decide, you know, you want to do four different photos here. And so that'll be one photo and then you add some other. So you can, you know, and, or then you say, no, actually I do want it as my background. So then you switch it back to your background. So uh, that's, you know, very easy to use. You can, of course, crop the image. Got a nice cropping feature here. Um, you know, let's say you want the photo there and then bring it down there. And I don't know, we'll just go up there. So you can apply it. And now it crops that way. So, so that's, you know, how the photos work. Um, you know, again, text, you've got, it's pretty standard. Uh, they've got all the different fonts. You can add your own fonts, uh, but you know, they've got a lot of the different, you know, the standard ones that everybody uses that are in a lot of these. Um, so, you know, there's several hundred, it looks like all the, the Google ones that people tend to use. Uh, change the text size, very easy. You can just change it like that. And of course you can change the size of this box too, right? To, if you're gonna make the text size bigger, you wanna make that uh, bigger as well to accommodate that. Uh, you can change the line height here. So again, if it goes over into more than one line, you can change that. And then, you know, of course you can very easily drag that elsewhere. Um, you, know, you can drag it there, drag it here, however you want. Again, if you've used these tools before, this all should be very familiar, right? You can add a drop shadow. If you want to do that, you can do it that way or that way. Again, however you want, you can change a text color. You can add, add an outline color um, to your text, bold it, all that sort of stuff. Um, this is actually here, this background color I, I like. It's very, you know, you, let's say you want uh, a white background color. Boom, right there. And so it automatically creates this kind of square shape that goes around the text. And then, you know, it follows it around, right? It's now part of it. And, you know, so I like that, you know, you can, and if, you know, you can resize it and everything resizes it together. It's very, it's a very nice feature. Uh, you know, I've been playing with a grouping feature in Canva and it's, I mean, I find it so frustrating. Uh, you know, I create the shape and I create the text and I've got to kind of crop them, you know, kind of uh, pick them together. And, you know, it's always, always difficult, but this is very nice. It's very easy to use to kind of create this, uh, this background uh, that goes with your text. Um, you can also right there, there's a full width. So if you want that background to go all the way, you can make full width. And then uh, I guess actually that's not centered because that doesn't go all the way around, but you know, you can center it around that background as well. So, um, and then, you know, of course you've got duplicate, delete, move back, move forward again, all very standard. Um, so what else can you do here? You've got icons. So, you know, they've got these things here again, if you wanted to put, uh, actually, let me get rid of that one. I don't want that one. You know, if you want to put your text in a circle, you could put it in there, you know, you can change the color and put your text into the circle. If that's something you want to do, um, you know, and they've got all these other colorful icons, you know, if you want an umbrella, again, you can make these bigger, however you want, more transparent. Um, so, and again, you can search these. Again, it says 2 million royalty-free icon, icons. So they've got a ton of icons. Um, now we come down here. Uh, let's see, actually, yeah. So one of the very unique features of Stencil, if you know the history of Stencil, it actually started off as a website uh, that was called Share as Image. So if you've been doing stuff on the internet for a while, you may remember that website. And so, you know, it eventually, I don't know if it, they just, if they got bought out or if they created a new website uh, that includes the graphic design tool, but they have here over 100,000 quotes and you can search these quotes. So, you know, let's say you want to uh, have a quote about freedom, right? So you just search and then it comes up, you know, with all these quotes having to do with freedom. And, you know, you just click that and it goes right in there, including the, you know, the name of the person and, you know, just very simple. So this is really good. It's a great tool you know, if you're really into making uh, 
social media posts that have quotes. I mean, stencil is your tool. There's just, you know, it's so simple. You've already got your quotes here. You don't have to spend time finding them on the internet. They're right here. So it's a very, very nice feature. Uh, definitely one of the, the better features, you know, a very unique feature. And so, um, and again, you can do these, you can add it to your canvas, you can favorite it, you can add it to collections. So, um, you know, again, if you don't want to use something right now, you may want to save it for, you know, some time later once you come across it. So um, that's a very nice feature. Of course, you can upload your own uh, images if that's something you want to do. Obviously, that's, you know, a very standard feature. You can also add logos or watermarks, upload those. Um, there, here they've got your saved images. So again, it's, uh, a lot of this is very standard, but again, there are some what I, I consider to be some very unique uh, and useful features. Um, coming over here, again, here's a button if you want to add more text, you add more text there. You can show the grid lines, uh, you know, if you need to see, you know, see the grid lines that are right there. Uh, you can clear the image that clears everything. Another very unique feature of stencil is this change history, which is nice. They do have the undo button here, but you know, you can kind of see the, the history. I don't know that I've seen that on other ones. So if you know, you know, that you want to go back to a particular point, uh, you know, again, they're not going to give you a lot of details, you know, icon added, icon deleted, icon added. Uh, so maybe not the most helpful thing, but if you don't have a lot of changes, you know, rather than hitting the undo button <laughs> five or six times, which sometimes I find myself doing, uh, you can just go into the change history and go back to where you were, right? You just right there, boom, it changed it back to something that I had before. So, um, so that's nice. Um, a couple other really neat features with, with Stencil is, um, is they do have these extensions. So they've got a Chrome extension, a Firefox add-on, a Safari extension, and a WordPress, WordPress plugin. So I want to show you, show you the Chrome extension. I'll show you the WordPress plugin. So uh, let's come here. So I'm on Pexels, right? And, you know, I find this image that I like. We'll just say I like this image here, this dog, right? So I just do a, a right click and right here I've got stencil and I can either add it So right now, I mean, boom, it's right in my upload. So I don't have to go in because normally like with something with Pexels, I like Pexels, like Pixabay, you know, I've got to download it and then upload it. But here I can just boom, put it right into, into Stencil. I mean, it's very nice, um, very nice feature. Uh, you can also, if you want, you can crop the image, you know, just, uh, I guess now that it's already in here, I have to crop it the way I would crop any other photo, but you know, they've got open with Stencil or crop the image with Stencil. Let's see if this, uh... yeah, so this time it uploaded, but it uploaded with the crop already there. So if I didn't want uh, the full image, I just said, hey, I just want these giraffes. I want to get in really close on them. You know, I can just do that and boom. Uh, oops. Oh, okay. So now I guess once I've cropped it, I can download it, copy the link, saved upload, saved old logos, watermark, set as background or add to canvas. So, uh, you know, just set it there. I guess it actually doesn't, oh yeah, it is uploading it. So, okay. So, you know, again, but you do of course have to be careful with this. I mean, you've got to, you know, you can't just, uh, upload any image you want. They, you know, you've got to make sure that you have the, the legal right to use those images. I mean, with Pexels, I believe all of these, you know, you do have some sort of the legal right. Most of these are free on Pexels as well as Pixabay. And there are, of course, lots of other websites that give you uh, access to the images. Um, so that's a really nice feature. Again, if, you're, if you find something that you want to use for later, you can just put a boom right into, can, right into Stencil and you don't have to go through the download upload process. Um, so, and then there's a WordPress plugin. I've already put it in. It's in the, in the WordPress plugin repository, very easy. You just, uh, you know, edit your website and, you know, install it and activate it. And here's my website, by the way, edherzog.com. Um, and so, you know, you can come in here, for example, let's say I want to add an image and then I choose my image. Oops, let's go over there, choose it. 
and look right there, stencil. So I can do, you know, again, if you're familiar with WordPress, you know, you've got these normal options, upload an image, media library, stencil, or uh, this is something that I've got uh, plug in in Vato Elements. But, uh, you know, you've got everything right here uh, already in here. And so, you know, and you can, so you can create your image right here in stencil and then put it, drop it right into your WordPress blog or WordPress or a, or a page on WordPress. Um, you know, you could use a, something you've already created in Stencil and put it right in there. So, um, you know, this is a great tool. It's very easy to use. And, you know, I love how it just incorporates right into WordPress. WordPress. So if you're a WordPress user, this is a great feature. So let me see if there's anything else here that I want to show you on Stencil. I think, uh, I think that pretty much is all the features of Stencil. Again, it's not the most sophisticated, sophisticated tool, but it does have some nice features that I think are very unique and I think makes it very much worth $49 as a lifetime price. Again, you've got the 2.2 million photos, the 2 million icons and graphics, templates, Google fonts. Uh, you know, you've got the WordPress plugin, the Chrome, uh, Firefox, and I forget the, um, the other add-on to get, you know, pull images right from your, from your computer into stencil. Uh, you get the quotes. So, um, you know, oh, I know there is actually one other thing that I wanted to show now that I think about it. Sorry about that. So when you download, you know, you've got here, you've download JPEG or PNG. You can do, uh, either regular dimensions or you can do it as a retina image and you can do it as media or print. Uh, and then they've also got here, you know, you can save it, save it as a template or you can preview and share it. So here, you know, you can share it again, directly onto Facebook, onto Twitter, onto Pinterest, onto, on Instagram is not direct. You know, you've got, in, Instagram has a very much locked API. And so you've got to put it uh, via SMS and it looks, looking at the, at the deal limits here, you get 100 Instagram SMSs a month. Um, you can load it up through buffer or you can share the image directly via link. So. Um, you know, some very nice, and there you get a desktop preview and a mobile preview. So, you know, so, so again, it's very easy to share from here directly onto social media, which again, fits in very well with this quote thing, right? I mean, not, you don't have to do quotes, you can do other types of images, but you know, it works very well. It's a, it's a nice integration. So if you have any questions about Stencil, please let me know. Um, I'm really, I think this is a really good tool. And if, you know, if you've got other tools, this still could, could be useful for you because it does have what I believe are some very unique features. Um, I will put my affiliate link if you choose to buy Stencil. I always appreciate if people buy via my link. It helps keep me in business and helps, you know, helps me create uh, more videos. And, um, and then subscribe to my channel. You know, I've got a couple more videos coming out uh, uh, in the next couple of days. So you know, if you subscribe and then click the, click the notification button, you'll hear about those videos immediately. So that's it, thanks and have a great day.